Thank you, Conference. Like many people in this country, I used to be a member of the Labour Party. In my case, for over 20 years, rising to the dizzy heights of being Assistant Secretary of the Labour Party in Scotland. And like many people in this country, I am no longer a member of the Labour Party and I am proud to be a member of the SNP. I joined, I joined the Labour Party as a young man because I believed in equality and social justice. I believed in fairness at home and I believed in peace and disarmament abroad. And it is because I believe now in the things that I believed then that I am a member of the SNP. Because the Labour Party, the Labour Party has given up on that ambition. It has betrayed the aspirations of the communities of Scotland and it is no longer fit to represent them. That's why when it comes to the 7th of May, we shall get rid of the Labour Party in Scotland and we should put backbone into the Labour Party in England. <laughs> Conference, what has, happened, what has happened in the last six months with this party is not just the growth of an existing political party, it is a political realignment in our country. And it is happening the length and breadth of the country, but it is happening most in the working class communities in our inner city areas, where people are now turning to this party to be the champions of change, to be the agents of progress. And that is what we intend to be. And it's interesting to see the reaction of some of the more excitable sections of the London media to this prospect. The Daily Mail, for example, seems in a state of apoplexy about what will happen. And it says it's a democratic outrage that we should seek to influence the government of the United Kingdom. I would remind the Daily Mail that it wasn't us who wanted to be in the United Kingdom. That was their idea. That was their idea. And they have a cheek to suggest to people in Scotland that there is something illegitimate, something to be questioned about the democratic choices they make in free and fair elections to the United Kingdom Parliament. If there's anything sinister going on in this election, it is elements of the right-wing press who are trying to undermine our democracy and undermine the choices which the people of Scotland will make. And I say something else to the Daily Mail and some of its acolytes, because we've seen this as well. They've said that what we're trying to do is to achieve independence through the back door. Let me tell the Daily Mail and its readers, the next time we consult the Scottish people and the government of their own country, as we will, we're coming up the front path. You won't see us scuttling around the back. Conference, what this is really about, what this is really about is a degree of paranoia. On the 18th of September, we sent the British establishment a message and we gave them a shock. On the 7th of May, we can visit upon them their worst nightmare. We can send from this country a majority of people to the Palace of Westminster who will not dance to the tune of the British establishment, but who instead march to the rhythm of the people of Scotland. That will be... That will be refreshing. That will be an amazing improvement to our democracy, not just in this country, but it will be good for the people of the rest of these islands as well. Support the motion.